troubleshooting tips for the TAS4 3D printer. In this picture we can see the expected quality that you'd want to get out of the printer. However, in the next picture we can see that there has been some delamination. This is most likely because you ha don't have an enclosure for the printer or you have the fans on and you're printing ABS. So with ABS, turn off the fan and then put the printer into an enclosure. Here is another example of what can happen if you don't have an enclosure. The uh, bottom part has lifted off the uh, printing surface. And if you don't have an enclosure, you can try using the brim option in the print settings tab in Slicer and put a couple of millimeters of brim and this usually solves that problem. In this picture we can see that the last layer, the top layer, wasn't laid out correctly and instead we have these clumps of plastic and this is because you either have the layer height incorrectly, your printer print head has some stuff stuck to it so the printed filament in instead of getting stuck to the last layer gets stuck to the print head and gets dragged around or you're not printing fast enough in the last layer. So try increasing the print speed on the top layer and it might solve the problem entirely. Here's another one of the same issue, just a little bit different way that the, the problem has occurred. You can see that the in the end the print head has started to drag the stuff around. So with this one I just increased the top level print speed and the problem went away mostly. In this picture we can see that the lower left corner has caved in a little bit and this was because the print bed heat was way too high. It was supposed to be 85 degrees for ABS instead. I, I had it at 110 because I had an old version of printer face. So update your software and that might go away or just manually change the, the bed temperature to 85 from 110 and this should go away. Here we can see what happens when you print a tiny test object and you don't have enough of a raft under it and the uh, print head gets stuck and the blob that you can see in the middle is actually the print head being stuck and just printing in one place. So when you're printing test objects, use a big raft if the test object itself is very small because there's a possibility that if you're printing fast and the print head is moving around fast, it'll actually take the entire print with it and then it's going to fail horribly. Another way to solve the problem would just be to slow down the print. That's all for now, but I'll be updating when I get more results.